For those of you in a hurry, grab the eyedropper tool, click within your image to sample a color, click on the foreground color chip, and there is your hex number. Now for those of you with a few minutes to spare, let me show you a couple of other cool things. So let's cancel out of here. Now we're using the eyedropper tool. Just be careful. It has the keyboard shortcut of I, but so do a lot of other tools. So if you're pressing I to jump into the eyedropper tool, just be sure you are actually using the eyedropper tool. Now I'm also going to zoom in nice and tight on our image just here, so we can actually see individual pixels. Now if I say click in this square, Photoshop will sample the color within just that pixel. That's what sample size point sample is all about. Now if you prefer the idea of Photoshop taking an average of the surrounding pixels, change this to something like 3x3 three three average. Now if I were to click in say this square just here, Photoshop would actually be taking an average of the colors from all of these nine squares just here. Now in this case, I'll set this back to point sample. Another tip guys, if you're having problems actually sampling a color, check this sample value up here isn't set to something weird. If it is, just set it back to all layers, you should be good to go. Okay, so I'll just click somewhere to sample a color. And again, that color shows up here in the foreground color chip. So I'm going to click on that once just now to launch the color picker for the foreground color. We can see the color we sampled shows up just here. And you are actually free to manipulate that color just now. So we can drag around in here, go for a bit of a roll through here. Now, if you have made a complete mess of things, you don't have to cancel and come back in here. If you move your mouse outside over the image, you can actually click to sample a color again. We can see that color came up just here. So now that we've sampled our color, we know that the hex number shows up just down here. So with that selected, I'm just going to press Command or Control C to copy that to the clipboard, because now I would actually like to show you a very practical example of why you might want the hex number for a color. I'll just choose OK here and minimize Photoshop. OK, so here guys, I have a HTML page inside of a HTML editor on the right. And that same page is loaded up here within this browser window. Now this big block of solid gray just here, that's actually being controlled by this background color value just here. So if I select this number just here, press Command or Control V to paste in our color sampled in Photoshop. I'll press Command or Control S to save that. Over here in my browser, I'll refresh that. And there we go. There's our new company color just there. So that's finding the hex numbers for colors inside of Photoshop. I hope that helps. Catch you later.